tons of dead fish cleaned from French River after Nestle spill, a spectacle of desolation. Nestle has said that its Challenge plant usually only discharges clean water into the Aisne, but confirmed to AFP that occasional and involuntary overflow of biological sludge effluent, without the presence of chemicals occurred in its wastewater treatment plant. The machine we own is doing what it was designed to do when things go wrong and we have nothing to do with that. Rotten is a good documentary series on Netflix and the episode with water, and the business of selling bottled water discussed Nestlé's practice as it relates to Flint MI, and other areas. What is shocking to me is how they put on this face of caring deeply for the environment, but in actuality, their practice does nothing good for anyone but Nestle and shareholders. Fuck. Nestle, this is a big deal only because it happened in France. If this happened in Malawi, and it happens in places like that all the time, it would have been a spectacle of just another Tuesday, now get back to work. WTF are the locals cleaning it, Nestle should be forced to clean it at their cost. It's impressive how Nestle has been able to avoid negative publicity lately. Most of the world doesn't even understand the influence they have. This is the best TL, DR I could make, original, https colon slash slash observers. France 24. Com slash n slash 20200817 France tons dead fish river Nestle spill, reduced by 91%. I'm a bot. Thousands of fish were found dead on the banks and in the Aisne River near Bressy Briers in northeastern France on August 10. On August 12, the Ardennes Fishing Federation sounded a call for volunteers to help clean the dead fish from the river. According to the Prefecture of Ardennes, the death of the fish occurred due to a decrease of oxygen in the water, but an investigation is ongoing by the French Biovercity Office and Gendarmerie to determine if any chemical pollution played a part in the death of the fish. Extended Summary, http colon slash slash np Reddit com slash r slash audit ultra slash comments slash i balloon 5 y slash tons underscore of underscore dead underscore fish underscore cleaned underscore from underscore french underscore river slash FAQ, HTTP colon slash slash NP. Reddit. Com slash r slash audit ultra slash comments slash 31b9 fm slash FAQ underscore audit ultra underscore bot slash version 2. 02517205 TL, DRS so far. Feedback, HTTP colon slash slash NP. Reddit. Com slash message slash compose. 2 equals percent 23 audit ultra PMs and comments are monitored, constructive feedback is welcome. Top keywords, fish carrot hashtag 1 ain carrot hashtag 2 river carrot hashtag 3 arden carrot hashtag 4 federation carrot hashtag 5. Nestle, water is a resource. Also Nestle, water we don't own outright isn't a resource and things like this will continue to happen as long as politicians don't enact laws and policies that allow to hold individuals responsible in a sense that you put them on trial for shit like this. Or simply make fines so astoundingly large that any company would rather pay half their profits to make sure nothing of the sort ever happen again because any form of fine should be like four to five years worth of profits. But sadly we don't have politicians with balls and visions any longer. We have politicians that are in the pockets of those very same companies that wreck havoc on our planet and with our environment for short-term profits, so basically. Want this to stop? Start imaging in a world without money and capitalism. Yes, it's doable. But that requires you to rid yourself of the very same brainwashing you've experienced since birth telling you how awesome capitalism and money is. Because you know believing that only serves those few that sit at the top of the pyramid. I don't understand why aren't more politicians in the EU trying to fuck over Nestle like they are Apple and Google? They are much worse than any US tech giant. And why is it local people cleaning the mess and not Nestle, the water thieves? Just boycott this shit. r slash fuck Nestle. Big corporations cannot keep getting away with being the major polluters of society. One of the best ways to stunt the power of large organizations is with a carbon tax. If you live in EU, 
there is a citizens initiative ongoing to increase the carbon tax to 100 euros per ton by 2025. The benefit of this tax would go to supporting green and sustainable infrastructure and easing financial strain on lower income households. You can read more and sign here, https colon slash slash www. Stop global warming. EU slash. It takes 30 seconds to sign. Other things you can consider doing for the environment is take fewer flights, support organizations like Greenpeace or the Rainforest Alliance, consider a plant-based diet for a few days a week, buy local etc. The list goes on. Please don't get discouraged by the news. There is so much out there that it can feel paralyzing, but we cannot afford to wait for someone else to fix this, even if they are the ones that caused it. Every single one of us needs to continually assess what it is that we can be proud of doing, and not waiting to take action until everyone else does. I hope you can take a minute to read and sign the link. Is this the same Nestle that kept pumping water while California has a drought emergency while on expired license for three years? It was cheaper for them to accidentally spill all that and pay the fines and restitution than actually pay to have it properly taken care of. My thoughts at least. How is Nestle still getting away with bond-level villainy uncontested? Nestle has said that its challenge plant usually only discharges clean water into the Ain, but confirmed to AFP that occasional and involuntary overflow of biological sludge effluent, without the presence of chemicals occurred in its wastewater treatment plant. I would think they could come up with something that prevents involuntary overflow. Let's see how they get away with zero consequences. Nestle is the number one company in my boycott list, I never buy anything by them, or any of the subsidiary companies owned by them. It is a pure evil company with so much control over our food chain. r slash fuck Nestle. Nestle pollutes the river and volunteers clean it up. Capitalism at work. Nestle shouldn't be allowed to operate. They've proven time and time again they can't be trusted. If you look at a bottle of Nestle's Water 8 in the US, you will find that it is tap water from St. Louis, and then there is all the water that Nestle controls west of the Mississippi, it's criminal what they do, no corporate responsibility, very bad citizen of the world. For fuck's sake can you dumbass stop spilling shit into our waters? Jesus Christ most incompetent fucks on earth. Would be neat if someone actually posted up who is responsible, i.e. The faces and names of the Nestle executives that do this shit. We can just bullshit around acting like we can do something to a giant company, or we can call out the greedy individuals who are hiding behind the name. The elites designed this whole system so that we just bicker about a faceless entity known as Nestle and without billions to pay lawyers we can't do shit to that entity. Our slash fuck Nestle is probably loving this. The planet is not dying. It is being killed by callous and careless multinational multi-billion dollar corporations. These corporations have people in charge of them. Real, living breathing people at this moment. Those people have names and addresses. Nestle doesn't care. Nestle is the worst but they own so many damn companies I end up contributing to them in one way or another. Fucking sucks. I hate them. Fuck Nestle. All countries should start putting liens against companies for the full cost of any environmental cleanups, as well as fines for letting it happen in the first place. Want to buy land for a new factory or processing plant, sorry but not until you pay your liens. Want to open a new shop, not until you pay EPER liens. Etc. And make the parent company responsible for any smaller company it owns. R slash fuck Nestle. Stop. Buying. Nestle. Products. People need to know this, Nestle is an absolute disgrace of a company. They have no moral or ethical compass whatsoever, enough is enough, boycott this shithole. Nestle is a real piece of shit organization. They come into rural communities and offer to pay to build water bottling plants and employ XX people. The people are happy and cheer. Then Nestle moves in pumps their aquifers to critical levels and refuse to stop pumping, even when residents have to go to bottled water. Real pieces of shit there.